Hey, what is going on, YouTube community? Um, I am back. I'm sure you're surprised I'm here. I did not think I would be here. Um, and honestly, I just want to be super clear. You know, I've been following Farrell for a long time. Um, I do want to say that, um, you know, as soon as I checked out the Farrell talent trees and things, you know, I wasn't super excited about it. Um, but since checking it out now, and there's always been some thoughts that I've had and I've just kind of kept them to myself, um, but since checking this out recently, it looks like Blizzard is doing a change, is changing things, um, and that's awesome, you know, and honestly, you guys, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm rooting for Feral, I'm rooting for you guys, and since they are making changes, I just want to go ahead and give my input, you know, I think there's some members in the community that share the same ideas as me, you know, and whether you hate me or not, I'm just trying to help the community, just trying to help Feral um, be a fun class. And there's a few things in here that still kind of um, interest me. Um, now, with that said, I do want to give props. Um, you know, um, we I've been watching a few videos about Feral, um, some of Max's videos about the Feral talent tree. And you know what, you guys, Cyber Slats, props to that guy. You know, um, go ahead and give that dude a sub, okay? From what I have noticed is you know he is you know becoming like the the rep for feral and it's really nice and being a feral rep is not easy because obviously i feel like there's a lot of people that want different things from the spec um and there's a lot of debate so good for that dude and give that dude a sub I, it was so funny he, he, every time i see him on max's like videos he's always asking for a sub so we'll help that dude out um but something interesting um we're gonna go ahead and jump into this something interesting that i found is as far as the, the Druid talent tree, it's pretty bland. Um, there's nothing really spectacular on here. And I'll stop doing that, apologize. There's nothing super spectacular out here. You know, we look at the end here and we have um, Nature's vigor, or Vigil, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is a, a cool talent for um, Balance or Resto. And this, you can see the tree split up right here. So, and then we got Heart of the Wild. I think this is a cool spell, very cool. Um, as far as making it to the very bottom, I guess they do that so kind of everybody can, anybody can talent into it. Um, it is a five minute cooldown, which I believe on live it's reduced with, um, you know, some conduits or whatever. Um, and then we have here, obviously the guardian and the feral is furrer. Give it a different name. Obviously this is really hard to say. Um, it says when you shift into a form you haven't been for 15 seconds, abilities cost no mana, energy, rage, or astral power for four seconds. I would say really lackluster, you know, and I was trying to be fair and I was like, okay, for Feral, you know, not so hot. Um, and then I was like, well, maybe for Guardian Druid, it's really good, right? And for Guardian Druid, I think it's not even that great, you know? Um, like, I, for, if I was like raiding or Mythic Plus as a Guardian Druid, maybe sure, shift into um, some healing form and pop some wild growths and stuff like that. But in, even then, I don't care about my mana because by the time I do that again, it's my mana's going to be up. Um, so probably not even very exciting for Feral or Guardian. I think there could be some things to change um, with this selection to make it um, more interesting. Um, and then what I kind of noticed too is it does seem like they are trying to make the Feral play style. If this is a pretty good, if this is the spot that they kind of planned us going down, um, which I'm going to go over these and show you what I think. Um, but I think the way they, they do want us to play this, right now the talent is not appealing. Um, but it looks like they do want us to play some type of cat weaving or shifting um, play style. Um, I would say that's probably the least favorite rotational part of our, our kit um, is shifting out of a form. And first of all, Blizzard, um, if you do watch this, like I understand, like you know that is it is neat and a cool idea. But you do have to understand, like as a community that is not well represented, uh, well represented. Play your base is really low for the Feral. We're already, you know, like getting comments of like, why are you playing Feral? Just play Boomkin. And then to add to that, you're going to say, hey, part of your Feral rotation is shifting in and out of Boomkin form. And it's like, ah, oh, gosh. And then it's just like, yeah, why aren't we just playing Boomkin? Um, so unfortunately, that does seem to be the case. I mean, we have Savage Roar on the Feral specific talent row, which is going to be increasing, helping with our, our dots or bleeds which is going to benefit from shifting in and out of form. Um, if we're on single target, we're going to have drop deep focus, which is going to be, you know, wanting us to play this shifting form. And then we have adaptive swarm. You can go circle of life 
Um, I don't think that's going to be the play. Um, but you do have Adaptive Swarm, which is, hey, it's a button you can press, you know, while you're waiting for your GCDs, which is also going to increase your dots, which also is about kind of that play style as Fervor. So I do think they want us to go into it. Now, I'm going to talk about Fervor and how to make it better later on, um, but we'll just quickly get into that. So we're going to go over the Druid specifics. Um, let me go ahead and check out what I put, and we're going to go ahead and try to copy that. Um, so we do want to go ahead and grab rip. What we're going to try to do is grab every single DPS thing we can um, before kind of just going around. So we're going to go ahead and just grab swipe. We'll do our physical, increase our um, damage, and now we're stuck. We can't get any further down the tree, so we do have to go somewhere else, okay? Now, taking into mind, maybe we're going to be shifting. We're going to go ahead and just go star fire, star surge. We do want star surge. That's really important for the shifting, right? If I can shift into moon conform and then I can star surge, that's some DPS, very moon minimal. And then we got to grab moon conform, obviously, to make that happen. Okay, so now we unlocked our second row here. We're going to increase our speed because we want to go ahead and get to our primal fur fury. When you critical strike with an attack that generates a combo point, you gain additional combo point, okay? That's DPS, right? All right, we can no longer move any forward. Um, we probably want to go ahead and grab Wild Charge. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go Stampede and Roar. Again, no DPS here at all. Um, but we do probably want to make our way down to um, this, uh, this crit, added crit for us. Also, you're going to tell with this talent tree, it doesn't seem to be working perfectly. I noticed that with, for instance, these. Tiger's Fury generates an additional one energy. Um, so we'll have to go ahead and see in Alpha or whatever how to uh, do that. Um, okay, so we need more points, right? So how are we going to get more points? Magical damage and healing increased by 2%. Yeah, if shifting is really big, we want to grab that. Oh, wait, no, we can keep going right here. Okay, so increase the range of our abilities. That's that's important. We'll go ahead and Sunfire. Um, we'll grab something else. Maybe we want to grab a defensive Typhoon or let's say improved Sunfire, right, for those AoE fights. Still haven't unlocked it. Okay, so maybe we'll just grab Frenzy Regen. Still haven't unlocked it. Um, we could even go, like, let's say we're just super crazy about those really small um, boom can abilities. We can just go right here. We can unlock these until it opens up. All right. Um, so what we want to do here is we're going to keep on chasing damage. So we want our crit. Um, and, and, that, and that's basically it. Now we're done. Like, we're done as far as damage-wise. Um, so we could say, well... If shifting, we can go ahead and just go like that. You know, maybe we want to go, you know, um, innervate. And now I got a few points left. You know, we'll probably grab Mighty Bash. Sure. You know, we could do the well on instincts. Basically, now it's defensive, or we can go fur, right? Um, you know, I can go defensives, or we can go that. Um, I'm guessing this is how they want us to go. But right now, I don't like Furrer. I think it's pretty crappy. And I don't really know if shifting in and out of forms is the best thing to do. You know, even though we kind of went down the tree as if shifting was good. But even if shifting is bad, there's still nothing else that I can do except for grab defensives. Right? Um, so let's go ahead and just go down Furrer and let's talk about it. Like, again, if this does suck, then we're just probably going to be, you know, shifting out of this and just going more defensive routes. Okay, I have the hunch that Fur is going to be kind of meta and they do want us to do this shift style. Okay, perfect. That's where I want to be. So I do have a hunch that this they want us to do the shift style. So one thing is Fur is not good, right? For Bear and for Feral, it's not exciting. When you get to the bottom of this talent tree, you want to be excited. Um, first of all, I'm not excited about shifting, and, and I, I'll, I'll stop saying that, right? So let's just say that Dragonflight, Feral Druid playstyle is going to be shifting. So it's like, okay, well, how do we make it exciting? How do we work around it, okay? So when you shift into a form you haven't been for 15 seconds, abilities cost no mana, energy, rage, or astral power for 4 seconds. So when you shift, you're going to be shifting into the Boomkin, and you're going to be kind of like, you know, star surging, and maybe, you know, star surging... Sunfire and um, and uh, Moonfire, right? So I got my big damage, and then I got my dots, which we talked about this tree, which seems like it's going to be beneficial dot play style. But now you got to think I got one cooldown, one GCD, two GCD, three GCD, whatever. And then also you got to think of shifting into Moon Conform is a global, okay? And it sucks for anybody shifting. 
you don't want to press that as a global, okay? What I want to do is what this fur should say is one benefit is it should say making or shifting into forms. If you haven't shifted into a form for 15 seconds, when you shift into a form, there is no GCD. You can automatically shift into forms in and out without a GCD, okay? That just needs to be the case. If you're gonna to wanna to make a shifting play style, nobody wants to play, nobody wants to shift into moon conform and then press abilities, right? Um, so for me, I could just say, hey, I probably wanna, you know, like, oh, okay, it's been 15 seconds, I got something to track that. And then it's like, okay, if I want, you know, if I'm waiting on my abilities, I'm gonna star search. And that's automatically gonna shift me. It's gonna shift me and it's gonna star search things time. And then I'll go ahead and pull my dots. That's how it should be. Another thing to make this like a really exciting talent is say, each spell should add, each spell that is not of your current spec should add a combo point or rage, right? So now, Guardian is gonna be happy. Guardian's gonna be like, oh, hell yeah, dude. When I'm off tanking and I don't have aggro, I'm gonna shift into boom conform and I'm gonna go ahead and do some DPS or I'm going to heal and these healing is actually going to increase my rage. Same for Feral Druid. We can be like, oh, we can actually time this now and be like, okay, cool, this is my rotation. Uh, maybe I only got one combo point <clears throat> and I'm low energy, but it's been 15 seconds. Since I'm low energy, maybe I'm going to shift out of cap form. I'm going to Star Surge. I'm going to Moon Fire. I'm going to Sun Fire. And then when I shift back into cap form, boom, my combo points are full. That would be freaking dope. So that's what this needs to. So, the, so again, what we should change... Fervor, again, it's 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 decent. It's a pretty cool ability as far as like, hey, making shifting a part of our play style. But again, shift should cost no GCD and whatever abilities you're using for those four seconds are going to generate to your energy, rage, combo points, whatever. So that would make this huge, okay? Um, basically, those are my only complaints on like how to make it better. Um, I understand that, hey, these are four specific specs so the talent tree is gonna be really difficult to do. I honestly think that you probably should have made it so it's just like, hey, Balance and Feral have to share the same talent tree and Guardian and or a Guardian and uh, Resto share the same one. Um, so then you can actually make it better, but that's fine, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to um, the Feral specific talent tree. Let me go ahead and pull up my sheet. All right. So let's get into it. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to just grab as much damage as possible. Tiger's Fury, we're gonna go ahead and Omen of Clarity, get those free casts. We're gonna go ahead and do um, Sabertooth, so Ferocious Bite deals increased damage and increase the duration of your rip by one second. Now, one of the things you're gonna realize here, and we're gonna do Shred increases damage. Okay, so now we're stuck. So we have the option, we say, hey, while Stealth, Shred generates one additional combo point. Um, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and see that it is better because Berserk did get changed. Um, and we'll go ahead and read that later, but we just need to trust that this is good. Okay. Well, actually, let's go ahead and read Berserk right now. So go, go Berserk leaping on your target and rapidly slashing all targets in front of you five times for certain seconds. Okay. So this is a portion of Frenzy Band. They did increase, they did increase the strength of Berserk by making it like Frenzy Band, okay, which is different. Okay. And then it says for 20 seconds, Ray can shred deal damage as though you were stealth. And finishing moves have a 20% chance per combo point spent to refund. So it's going to be refunding us and it's going to be, you know, helping us um, shred as though we're stealth, which means those shreds are going to generate one additional combo point. So this is going to help us get through rotation. Now, the only complaint I have with this is you got Frenzy Band on it, which is cool, but like Frenzy Band, um, you can't really do anything during those few seconds, right? So you're going to be attacking, and it's just like, dude, once you hit Berserk, you're going to want to go into your rotation really quickly, and it's just, I think it's going to feel really awkward to Berserk, and you're ready to shred and just start biting and shred and biting and whatever, and it's just like, ah, I got to stall, I got to wait for that to happen. Um, so this feels a little bit off, okay? Um, but again, we're trying to figure out what, what points we need to go through. Um, it says, while stealth, Ray also stuns the target for four seconds and deals 60% increased damage. Okay, during your Berserk, pretty unlikely that we're going to be raking, right? Shred gives us more combo points. Very unlikely we're going to be raking. So the only benefit I really see out of this, and you may possibly rake, let's, let's be real, um, during your Berserk. But the real only benefit I see is this, is getting a 60% increase to that rake for the very start of the fight. 
and that's a no-go, right? This is this is very minimal damage as compared to Tiger's Fury generating, um, I believe this is 10, 20, 30 energy, right? Or we could just have your maximum energy increased, which we may do later. We'll talk about that later. All right, so let's go ahead and go Berserk. Let's go Moment of Clarity. This is These are big damages here. Um, taste of Blood increased by 2, 4, probably 6%. It's not going. Um, so now we have Brutal Slash. This is very good. Savage Roar, you guys. Savage Roar is a huge DPS cooldown. Um, you know, we can go ahead and take a look at what it looks like on live. So Soul of the Forest is what we normally go. This is about a 12 average. And this is almost... This is 11. This is very minimal. This is almost as strong. So, like, this is a huge DPS increase, you guys. So, we do want to be going Savage Roar. Now, this brings me to another complaint as far as the play style of what Feral seems to be is, hey, when we add Savage Roar, we're going to be biting less, right? You know, and it says, hey, this lasts for 36 seconds. Usually, Savage Roar, when we did actually play Savage Roar, this was more of like a very specific niche parsing build that you did on fights that were um, very, uh, the time limit wasn't really high, right? Obviously you parse really high by, by lower time, but you could increase your parse um, if we went Savage Roar versus Soul of the Force for some specific fights where the time was um, was very small. You can kill a boss very quickly. So it is very good, um, but the thing is, it's not very great for these elongated fights. And it's going to be, uh, I'll go ahead and say what's like the big issue with it right now, is this does not work with the change to rip, okay? The change to bite affecting a rip. Um, right, so that's Sabertooth. So um, Sabertooth, what it used to do is it used to extend your rip and you could make it indefinitely, right? When that happened, when you could extend your rip indefinitely by biting, Savage Roar had a chance, okay? It, it was actually like playable for these niche specific parsing builds, right? The way Sabretooth works right now and the way bleeds work right now is you're eventually going to be refreshing your rip, okay? Not so great, okay? So we're eventually gonna be refreshing our rip. We're going to be adding on top of that a Savage Roar. We're going to be adding on top of that shifting in and out of Boom Conform to hit some spells, okay? And then we're gonna go back and it's just like, all of this together is going to reduce a lot of our finishers big time. Now, if we do change, change fur, like I said, to say, hey, these abilities actually generate combo points, that may be a that may be a big boost to this. But right now, it does not do that. And right now, with Savage Roar, we are reducing a lot of those finishers that we're doing, and we're going to be reapplying Rip a lot more than we already do. Um, even just thinking like, oh, well, we got Savage Roar. Well, we're going to be not doing as many shreds and rotations because we're going to be in and out of form. Um, so it's a great talent, um, but the change needs to happen with Furrer to make this somewhat viable, as well as Sabretooth extending the rip fully. Now, I know a lot of people in the community are like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be pressing bite all the time. And I totally understand that because I think Blizzard, how they made the play style of Feral currently, makes you not want to do that anymore. And that's, that's a bummer that that is the case. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't want to just put all my energy into redoing a rip and then working into redoing a Savage Roar and then finally working into biting. It's just like, oh man, it, it's, it seems very, very clunky. Okay. So yeah, change to that, um, which, which basically doesn't need to be changed. Savage Roar doesn't need to be changed at all. If we change up Sabretooth, we change up Furrer, those will, those will definitely help. If not, I would say a change does need to be doing to Savage Roar to increasing the duration. So right now it says 36 points with a five combo point generating ability. So basically in a five minute fight, that's seven casts of um, Savage Roar, which is a lot. Obviously in a, uh, a shorter fight, it's not super drastic, um, but or in a longer fight, you know, it, it's, it's a lot. That's a lot of casts. And I think we can get away with, you know, increasing the duration so it's not so much, you know, like, oh, now I gotta do this, and now I gotta do this, and it's like, oh, I wish I could do this, but I gotta do this. Um, so that does kind of happen with that play style, although it can be a fun play style. But, but yeah, I, I wouldn't wanna play this play style without having my rips completely refreshed. Maybe that can be put into that talent as well. I don't know. Um, okay, so we go from here, we probably want our survival instincts, and now we are stuck. Um, we do want to grab Eye of Fearful Symmetry, so we are going to go ahead and Infected Wounds, and I'm still stuck, so I need some more. So now again, it's like, hey, what do I want to do? Do I want to work my way into Sudden Ambush? Finishing moves have a 3% chance per combo point spent to make the next Rake Shred. 
deal damage as though you were stealthed. That, that's not a lot of damage, right? You know, it's, it's just not great. This is not great. This is not super great. This is not great. So instead of going into these, instead of blood, no. You know, we're just going to go ahead and spend our talents elsewhere, which is increase energy by 10. Tiger's Fury increases energy by 30. Okay, so I increased my maximum energy by 20, and now I can move on. Let me go ahead and pull up my uh, thing so I'm not going off. Okay, so now we have Frenzy Band. Great talent. Love to see that one. We have um, Cat Eye Curio. Um, Core Psychic Abilities generate 30% of their energy costs and maximum energy increase by zero. We know that's incorrect. It is going to help, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and Drought because we are kind of focused on single target here. Um, Soul of the Forest. This is big damage for us. We're going to go ahead and go Eye of Fearful Symmetry. Finishing moves restore combo points. Great. We're going to grab Convoke. Um, this one right here says shifting out of incarnation before it expires ends the effect and refunds a portion of its cooldown. I don't see that ever happening because the way that we're working is, um, you know, we're not we're not really spending a lot of energy because our shreds are a lot more effective. I guess we are spending with with sh with um, bite. I don't see a shifting. I don't see a shifting. Although it's part of the meta, I don't see a shifting during berserk. So I think that's a no-go, right? We still have a couple more points um, here. So I went Adaptive Swarm. This is just great in a rotation. Let's say um, I, I haven't been in cap form for 15 seconds and I want to do something. Well, I can go ahead and put an Adaptive Swarm in my rotation to buff up my bleeds. Really good. Now we can go ahead and buff it to say Adaptive Swarm has 6% to split. You know, as far as single targets concerned, I don't really care about that. Um, okay, so let me see what I did now. Basically, we have um, just one talent point right now, and that's what I did right there. I maxed it out right here because we don't really have too many, too many more options. <clears throat> um, so that's it, you guys. That's kind of my ideas. My headphones died. That's basically my idea of kind of what I would do. Um, obviously, there's different variations in here, um, but again. Not something too exciting. I am really bummed out about blood talents. I don't say there. I don't know if there's really a way in which we can get there because I need these specific talents to get here. I think probably a grief that I have is you can see right in this part of rotation here. It says, "Hey, while stealthed, hey, this is going to make my um, attacks attack as if they're stealth, right?" Um, finishing point has a twenty percent chance for combo points. Make sure intake free. Um, it's it's. You know, that's really good, PvP-ish. Tiger's Fury, bonus damage is increased. This is really nice. Um, and then um, Blood Talents, I'd love to see this. What I would probably like to see is, let's see how many points we have. We can probably get rid of Max Energy or even improve Tiger's Fury. We can probably get rid of Adaptive Swarm, although Adaptive Swarm does really work with this playstyle. If it was changed, um, I would like to probably see Blood Talents up here. So we got, what? let's see, um, we could... Oh, I don't remember. We need some of these to like work down town tree. So I don't know how many we have because we do need some of these. I think we need like that. So what I would like to see here is Tiger's Fury bonus damage increased. Put that right here. Okay. Um, and then, um, so we got two. And then maybe to put um, Blood Talons right here. So three. Okay, so we got two, which is Carnivorous Instinct, boom, boom. And then we go Blood Talents. And then let's just say, you know, let's say maybe Predator Swift is right here, whatever. They, they need to shift that around. Blood Talents is just so nice, you guys. It's so good, a good play style. Um, I'm worried about our damage without Blood Talents because, hey, we're not even biting as much, right? We're not even biting as much. And we do want Blood Talents to increase our rip because we are kind of trying, they are trying to have us play more of a, of a bleed play style, but not being able to get to Blood Towns. Um, so that probably my very last grief with this is the way it's set up right now, um, is that, and I feel like these, we really can't, we really can't get away from using these. Um, so the only way, well, if these, if these were changed right here, if these were changed right here, then I'd be able to get to them, right? So that's my only grief right now with this um, build is um, some of these we don't really need. I don't really need max energy or I can figure out like mathematically what would be better, Tiger's Fury or max energy, you know, what would be the best. And we could probably get rid of Adaptive Swarm. Maybe, that might be fun. 
or we could get rid of these top two by making it go down the tree in this order. This would be two talent points, so we can help increase the ranks of this, and then um, blood talents. Uh, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of people probably don't enjoy my content, um, but um, either way, I think there is a portion of the community that um, that feels the same way that I do. Um, but either way, good luck to Pharaoh. Good luck to Blizzard. Um, you know, hopefully you guys can keep changing it and, and get it right where the community is all happy. Wish you good luck. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.